Okay, this is the osmosis experiment that we did in class today. Okay, so we had special bags that we used that contained 20% sucrose. Now these were special dialysis bags to represent the cell. We took each bag, weighed them, and then placed them into three separate beakers. Beaker one contained 40% sucrose. Beaker two contains 20% sucrose. Beaker three contains water or 0% sucrose. Okay, so what we see here is we placed our bag in there. The bag represents a cell and it contains 20% sucrose and it is sitting in a solution of 40% sucrose. Remember, water will move to cause homeostasis. We would like it to be equal on both sides. So water is going to dilute the solution. Water will leave the cell going from 20% to the 40%. Thus, we say that that cell is going to shrink, shrivel, and eventually Prenate, and this would be a hypertonic solution. If we go to beaker two, we have a 20% sucrose solution in our bag or cell, and it is sitting in a 20% sucrose solution. This is called an isotonic solution because it is the same or iso inside the bag and outside the bag. So you will have no water movement. In beaker three, we have our 20% bag of sucrose and it is sitting in water or 0% sucrose. So again, water will move to the higher concentration to dilute it, trying to obtain homeostasis. So 20% is higher than 0%. So water will enter the cell, causing the cell to swell and eventually lice or rupture. We would call this a hypotonic solution.